Hey guys, and welcome back to another More with Moros video. Today's video, we are doing a master bedroom makeover. <laughs> We're doing a master bedroom makeover. So this coming December will mark four years since moving into this house and we haven't done nothing nothing to our bedroom yet not hung up a single thing i mean at one point we did have like a little nursery for fletcher and put some wallpaper up but you guys know we took that down and we did do the board and batten wall and we did a whole diy video for that so i'll link that down below so you guys can watch how we did that but other than that project and just a few little things that i've gotten we haven't done anything to this bedroom. I'm going to show you guys everything I got, everything we did, and then of course the final reveal at the end of the video. But first, before we get into that, I just wanna say a huge thank you to Bill Bar for sponsoring today's video. I've actually only had breakfast so far today. I am in desperate need for a snack, so I was like, you know what, I gotta grab my Bilt Bar. I'm actually, I'm just like already opening it up because I'm so hungry, but I am having one of their puffs ones, which you guys, I got an email from them that they just came out with a new flavor, orange creamsicle or orange, something like that. But I need to try it. So I'm actually going to order some more. I do use my own code too, because I save some money, um, which you guys don't know. You guys can use my code anytime, Moros10. I will give you guys 10% off your order, but I am going to order it and try it because it sounds amazing. But I'm having the churro puff one. This one is 140 calories. 17 grams of protein and only six grams of sugar. You guys know I love to have these anytime, really. Late night snack, breakfast, post-workout, anytime I'm just hungry on the go, I love my Built Bars. They're also guilt-free, no preservatives. They have natural flavors, everything. I don't even know if I mentioned which one this one is, but it's the churro, which is actually Frank's favorite, so don't tell him because he loves the puff ones. I always like to show you guys what they look like because they remind me so much of uh, candy bars, but it's a guilt-free candy bar. I forgot how good this one tasted because Frank always steals these and eats them, and I've only had one before, but this one is really, really good. I don't know if I said this already, but I do want to say thank you to Built Bar for sponsoring today's video because they have been a huge supporter of this channel. You guys have heard, heard me talk about them so many times, so I do want to say a huge thank you to them for that. Um, but I also wanted to say that they have so many different flavors. I've talked about all the favorite ones that I like, like the almond coconut, coconut and salted brownie, cookies and cream, honestly. There's only a couple flavors that are like, yeah, but for the most part, I love them all. So if you guys are interested in checking out Built Bar, I'll be leaving a link below in my description. You guys click that link, use my code, like I said, Moros10, and that will get you 10% off your order. I definitely recommend checking out their variety pack. That way you can try them all and see which one you like the best and the different flavors. And then you can order separate packs of just like one flavor. I think there's like 12 that come in a pack, but you can order 12 of your favorite ones. I'm gonna go ahead and finish my built bar. I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple more things to the room, but let's go ahead and jump in and I hope that you guys will enjoy. What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be a decorating video mixed with a little bit of wall repair. And when I say that, this is what I mean. So if you guys remember a long time ago, we had wallpaper from this corner all the way over here for, oh, sorry, sorry you guys. We had wallpaper from here to there for Fletcher's little nursery that we had set up right here. But when we took it all off, you, can, you guys can kind of see it ripped all of the paper with it. So like there's some places with the paper for the sheetrock and some without it. I'm using my trusty joint compound because it's actually very thin and very spreadable and I'm spreading it all over the wall from top to bottom to redo it, sand it all down and then repaint this wall. And I feel like, I feel like there's a few touch ups in here that I need to get done. So like when they did the room, whatever, we had our little accident up here, um, they never put down the stopper for the door. So anytime one of the kids runs in here, it slams up against the wall and it's made like a little hole. So I got to fix that. But other than that, I think this whole room is getting an entire makeover. So I'm gonna hand the camera to Brittany in just a second once I get done with this.
so now that the dust has settled when I first came in here after Frank was done sanding this wall it was so dusty we have the fan going we even had our air purifying going everything was covered in a layer of dust you guys saw I cleaned the mirrors which I don't know if Frank he can't remember if he filmed hanging those but he hung those mirrors up Finally, I've been wanting to have those hung up for a really long time now. We just have not gotten the chance and we've been kind of putting it off until we did do this room. You guys also saw that I moved out the rug in here. Now I want to show you guys some of the things that I got from Target because I did get a few new things for our bedroom because if you guys can see, there is literally nothing, nothing on our walls, no decorations minus this flower vase and if you want to consider the mirror decoration the bench that's pretty much it so i did want to get some new things for our room you guys don't kill me but i did get some new pillows i wanted to change up some of the pillows in here i did just get that one recently to add a little bit more color in here and i want to add just a little bit more color as well and i've been really feeling pink lately you guys have probably seen some of my pink decorations downstairs Frank doesn't mind it. It is just a color and I wanted to add a little bit more variety and color into our bedroom. So everything you guys see is from Target. These felt, they're really soft, not velvet, but more like a felt um, pillow. This is actually from the brand Room Essentials and they were only $10. So I got two of those. I also got this lumbar pillow. This is the Opal House brand. And the reason why I got this is I wanted to tie more green into the room. I'm trying to add more greenery into our room starting off with this one which this one looks super real so what my plans are for this is adding one on each nightstand so i got one for my nightstand and then the other for frank's nightstand so i got this clear base a couple little sprigs to go in it i think these were a dollar 99 each i kind of made my own little arrangement i also got this really pretty glass candle and i didn't get this little shelf or i don't even know what you would call this little stand i didn't get it for the candle i actually got this for our sound machine so this is going to go on to the dress there. And then I also got these fake stems that I'm thinking about putting in that vase or maybe even adding to those flowers. So I got two of those and then I got this fake monstera plant and then this plant stand to go or for this to go in it. But I realized, and I probably should have done this while I was in the store, it's a little bit above. It doesn't bother me too much, but I'm still like, mm. And then the last thing that I got at Target was this wall art. It came with two different pictures. Actually, I think this was on sale when I got it. I think that's why I snagged it up, even though it was like a pretty basic wall art. Um, but it had just like little squiggly lines, and I'm thinking about putting it on that wall since we don't have anything hanging up. And honestly, that's probably the only place that both of those pictures would fit. I'm almost tempted to see if I can find some pictures to go right here like some family pictures or even maybe right here. I don't know. I'm still on the lookout. I have not came across anything that I really like right now. And then I did get a couple things from Amazon. I got us a new rug, which is folded up right here. And also a fake six foot fiddle fig tree. I think that's what it's called. I always get like the wording mixed up, but I got that on Amazon. It just has not been delivered yet, but it will go right there or maybe even possibly in this corner. I have not, or this corner, I have not decided yet. I think it would look better over there. Like I said, I'm trying to add more greenery and color to our room because it's pretty blah right now. Pretty basic with, with the white wall, white sheets, gray wall, beige curtains, <laughs> white furniture. So just trying to add a little bit, a little bit of color. There's only one of you, only one of me. There's a million of those who won't let us be. But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed Cause baby, I got you, 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 you I've been beaten to the ground, dragged across the dirt I've been scared to live cause some people never learn But they're not gonna, not gonna watch me burn Cause baby, I got you, 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 you Yes. 
so I just finished sanding and painting the wall now the painting even though we've got the same exact color the same paint code the same paint and we bought it from the same place it's it's darker it seems like it's a shade darker than the rest of the room so what I ended up having to do was paint the entire wall that way it flowed and it wasn't casting like a shadow if that makes sense so I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you guys how the wall had the wall that had to be repaired turned out and how the paint turned out as well you guys you can't even tell you can't even, honestly, you can't even tell that it's two different colors. Maybe in the corner, like you can't even tell that wallpaper was here before and it used to be so bad. But I ended up having to paint all the way over here. You can still see where it's still drying up atop there. I just finished it, so everything is now done. We get the glorious job of putting everything back. Brittany bought all kinds of stuff today for the room, so I'm gonna pass the camera off to her and she can take over for All right guys, so show you guys what we have going on right now frank is about to put up the picture frames we're going to attempt the command strips by the way the wall over here looks really really good he did some touch-ups over on this side as well i wanted to show you guys because if you remember those little sprigs or floral sticks or whatever they were i went ahead instead of just putting them all in this vase i left the flowers that we already had and i just added them to it and then I did get a couple things from Target today I got this pillow so I already brought this pillow that we had underneath the stairs but I wanted to add some more color to the room still so I got this at Target today and then I did pick up some picture frames I have two of the same ones coming in the mail Target only had these two in stock in the store and I think we're gonna hang them up right here and put pictures of Frank and I on some of our trips in here and I really like that it's not like the traditional rectangle or well these are five by sevens but I like that it has like this neat shape to them so once I get those pictures printed off and get the rest of the ones in the mail we're gonna hang up these as well I think that looks good I'm just trying to decide how high I want it <laughs> or how low I should say down somewhere I think right there like kind of like in the middle of the wall would look really good. Well, put this one over. next to it. No, this one. Oh, it's on this side. Oh, and that yeah, one? That'll look good. That's so, a... I think. Right there. Oh, because the mirror's going to yeah. be right here, anyways. Um, a little bit down on the left. A little bit back up. Right there. Just realized they kind of match the walls. <laughs> they kind of blend in with the walls. Alright, guys, I have to show you this. Hold on, let me grab a knife so I can open the box. But let me just show you guys how this package came to my door. This is the fiddle leaf fig tree. I'm confused on what's happening here. Like there's a hole busted. Um, it looks like I think UPS had to tape it all back up. But she has been through some stuff, you guys. She's been through some stuff. Good thing it's just a fake tree, not a real tree. Look, it's even popping out on this side. All right, I'm gonna open her up now. All right guys, so here's what she looks like. I think some of the leaves have fallen off, so I'll just have to stick those back on there, but, oh, here's another one. I'll definitely link this one down below because I'm looking at the leaves. They look so real. And I just go ahead and take this beauty out. Okay, there we go. I didn't know it had some rocks in the bottom, so that's pretty cool, but um, there she is in all of her glory. So I'm gonna take her upstairs and start fluffing her out. You said that you needed me Like a cargo, you will carry me The room is almost done. The last thing that I need to do is actually get our pictures in these picture frames, which by the way, these two came in the mail broken. Thankfully, Frank was able to glue it, but you can see there's still, there's still some little gaps there, but it's okay. It's all good. I read it off some of like different places, like the Bahamas. This one is in Charleston. Actually, I went ahead and command stripped two of those up there. So I'll show you guys that here in a second. But um, got some ones from Hawaii. So I'm going to go ahead and finish putting these pictures. 
I actually need to order two more of these. I guess technically the room won't be completely <laughs> done, but it's going to be pretty much done because I want to put three on this wall too. But anyways, I'm going to do that now and then hang them up. Even though it makes no sense Sometimes I'm broken Too much of emotion Sometimes I'm the lighting Don't want to pick a fight with it Everything seems so good I guess I can't help myself Finally finished. Are you guys ready? Yeah. <laughs> Are you guys ready for the reveal? Let's do a quick overview of how everything turned out. Our room actually does not have that great of a lighting. This is actually pretty decent, but I usually have to do around this time of day, like four o'clock, because that's when the sun hits the side. But like I said, the lighting is always so wishy-washy but everything is completely done except for one thing I just want to put some pictures up here but I need to get some more picture frames but I figured we'll do a little tour around the room show you guys everything and of course you guys everything will be linked down below as much stuff as I can link down in the description it will be there so make sure you guys check it out if you guys hear anything in the background screaming crying laughing something <laughs> It's just the kids. Frank's downstairs with them. All right, so starting over here, the only thing that we had over here before was just our dresser and TV. Actually, not much has changed. We just added a couple different things. But I want to talk about this area really quickly in particular because I was actually talking to Frank about maybe painting the inside because it's kind of awkward and our bed wouldn't have fit in this area, especially with the two nightstands and everything. So all we did was just put our TV right there because we didn't know what else to put because it was too awkward to put on this side of the wall anyways if you guys have a color suggestion let me know because i really think i want to make like a little accent cubby right there um so moving on over here you guys the dresser is from ikea i did change the knobs a long time ago so i actually don't like a lot of stuff on the dresser you guys know i don't like a lot of clutter so the only thing that i currently have on our dresser is our sound machine this is crucial we can't sleep without that and then you guys have seen this vase with the flowers i showed you guys that and i have the candle over here i'm trying to get back into reading as well so i've been trying to prioritize that almost every single night so i have my book right here and then we actually did end up moving frank's grandfather's chair over onto my side because when it was over here it was way too cluttered with our new tree and this is honestly the perfect little nook little spot for it uh, so we just have a couple pillows on here and then i like to call this my blankie bin it's where i keep all my blankets i am definitely a blanket girl i got my heated blanket underneath there so i just have that in that corner nightstands are also from ikea same as this dresser to match and then these lamps are from and the lamp stand it's from target as well as this mirror which i just noticed you guys hold on the lighting is so bad because it's trying to focus on the light it's not going to focus i just noticed this is the same shape as the shape of the pictures over here so i have three right here and like i told you guys it's not finished yet because i want to put three right here to match but like i was telling you guys we have pictures of all the different places that we have visited so we have colorado up here in the snow arizona the desert in arizona and then the caribbean in the bahamas in this picture so soon enough i'll have the other ones to match on this side but yeah i just noticed that it's the same shape as the mirror i didn't have that planned out but i thought that's really neat uh frank hung those up those actually used to just only stand on the nightstand and then I put one of the little plants over here. Now moving on to the bed, you guys, this bed frame, I get questions about all the time, but I bought it so long ago that I don't even know if it's still available. I got it on Wayfair and I don't remember actually where I got this bench, but it ended up perfectly matching to the bed. But I think I got it either from Amazon, Target or Wayfair. But anyways, if I can find it, I will try to link it because I get questions about it 
all the time. I also recently changed our bed comforter. So this quilt is from Brooklinen and it does have a down inside of it. For the longest time we just used our down and didn't have an actual comforter or anything like that. So I pulled this out of our linen closet. I'm like, we are using this and that's what we have on our bed right now. So we actually have the pillow to match and I think these sheets are also from Brooklinen as well. But you guys saw all of these pillows right here are from Target. I don't think I showed this one, but that one is also from Target. And then here is the rug that is semi underneath our bed. I feel like it definitely ties in with all the other colors. I don't know if you guys can tell or not, but it's a little rippled. I think we just need to pull out the rug a little bit more to smooth it out, but I really do love this rug and I think it looks 10 times better than the one we had in here before. Actually, the one that was in here before I put into Fletcher's room and then the rug that was previously in Fletcher's room I put into the girls' room so we just kind of move some rugs around. Coming over here, basically the same setup as over there. Only thing different is Frank has different greenery over here. And then I did get a six foot fake fiddle leaf fig tree and I tried to actually fluff it out. It looks pretty realistic. I love it, but it doesn't really let me fluff them out, which I think they're kind of naturally like this anyways. Um, but I had this basket that a friend gave me, so I just ended up putting the tree inside of there. You guys can see some of the leaves have fell, but I think it looks perfect over here. And then I do also get a lot of questions about our curtains. So both curtains are from Amazon. We have like the sheer one on the inside and then blackout ones, beige blackout ones on the outside. It is a double rod. So you just put one curtain on the inside, which I would recommend using like a sheer one and then a different colored one. Or you can do honestly whatever you guys want. I honestly just love the look of the sheer curtain without having this whole thing closed, like it's still bringing light in. Let me show you guys, let me back up a little bit. I just like the look of how these curtains are. Another little hack is to put your curtain rod as high as you can get it. Instead of putting it right there, it will make your room look taller and bigger. You'll just have to get longer curtains, but that's another little hack for you guys. And then over here in this corner, which used to be our little nursery for Fletcher, we just have our full length mirror. I put a little plant over here. I was actually thinking about getting another basket and maybe having like some blankets or pillows, extra pillows, but I don't think this area is big enough for that. Maybe if I move the plant over there and then put something right there. And then the two pictures right there. And I almost wanna get something for this wall too. So we'll see. But yeah, that is gonna be pretty much it for this bedroom makeover video. Mainly brought some new decorations in here, fixed the wall, added a few things, hung up some things. I think it turned out so good. It definitely feels more cozy and comfortable and not as bland as it once before. Like I said, it will definitely be completed once I get these other pictures, but that is going to wrap it up for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and we will see you guys in our next video. Bye guys.